Hey everybody, good Sunday morning to you. Drinking my cup of coffee. Plain black, just the way coffee was intended by God himself. None of that sugar or creamer crap in it. Anyway, uh, good Sunday everybody. I got a custom Leatherman wave in, customized Leatherman wave in. And this completes the Leatherman family for now. That is my dog in the snow playing. And they did a really good job. On the other side, I got the American flag. It's kind of like a more distressed look. And um, I have one more engraving in the uh, inside of this blade right here, the main blade. But it's a little bit more personal. And so I'm not going to open it up on this. But... Suffice to say, if you go on to Leatherman.com, you can go to the customized feature. You put on any picture, logo, wording, pretty much anything that's not offensive. They'll have the option of canceling it out if they think it is. But um, they, they've got some preloaded options in terms of some of the graphics. But you can put any picture that you want on these. I think it took a whole extra day. As opposed to when I'm normally ordering from them. Uh, and on past videos I've explained. I believe that somebody was very nice and made me a pro member. Um, because my discount has not run out. It was supposed to be done in December. And just never ended up ending. So I keep ordering. <laughs> and it's kind of cool. On this one when you open it up. The flag kind of separates. But I think it looks really nice. So... Um, one thing that you don't really get on the internet that I wanted to go over real quick is the size comparison between between the uh, wave and the charge. It's noticeable. And online, you can't really tell the differences. Um, but this one is noticeably thicker. Just a tad bit longer, being that this is titanium. I mean, in terms of weight difference, this is actually, it feels just a little bit lighter. I'm not sure what the exact specs end up being on that. And then there is different hardware, obviously. Um, with the Plus models, they've made them very similar in, in terms of tools. The inside of the tools are uh, very similar, locking mechanism, everything. But just uh, some of the hardware that they use different between models. Now, uh, after carrying this for a while now, uh, and then getting... The wave, it almost feels to me like I'm carrying the sidekick again. Now, I use the multi-tools more often for main cutting tasks than any other knife that I own. Uh, in terms of my main blades or anything that I carry. A few reasons on that. First off, they're not as scary or intimidating. Um, a lot of times, if somebody needs something at work cut... Or if I'm with a bunch of people, uh, whipping out the combat Trudon might not be the best. Uh, if I just want to uh, have people understand that knives are just tools, they're not big scary things, then the multi-tool really takes care of that for me. I save my main blade's edge and just thump on the multi-tool. They're pretty easy to touch up. All of these have come... Really nice and razor sharp from Leatherman. I haven't had to do any major work in terms of sharpening once I get them. I don't expect any less. Leatherman being a fantastic company that now I've got many examples on. Um, by the way, if you guys don't have a PS4 Squirt, you need to get one. This is going to be in the all-time greatest hits in terms of EDC blades. Um, I have used this probably more than any other knife that I own, uh, probably sharpened this thing a good 50 times and still has plenty of steel left on it. And actually because of the grind, uh, I just do three runs on one side, one on the other. And I mean, just a few passes and it's back to, it's back to razor sharp. So, um, the PS4 squirt is if you have kids, especially, is on the mandatory list because I can't begin to tell you how many things I've used this for with the spring loaded pliers. I mean, come on. It's uh it's a great, great tool. 
Um, let's see here. What else can I note? Random thoughts here. You do get different sheaths, it looks like, depending on the model. Um, this is the one with bit holder that comes with the charge. This is the one without bit holder. Both of them are the snap, which I prefer. Um, the one that I just got with the customized wave, I'm not sure if this is just because it was customized or if they give this with all waves. But just, I don't know, the Velcro bothers me and then the molly strap I don't really need. Um, I messed with the loop so that I could put it on my belt. But, I mean, either way, all these sheaths will work. Um, they're workable. And then just some odds and ends in terms of accessories that you can get off of Leatherman. Uh, these are the replaceable wire cutters. And then I got some extra of the bits. Because those you can interchange between models. Um, tweezers. I know it sounds dumb, but I'm throwing these in like emergency packs and on Leatherman's website. They're like 75 cents, I think, full price. So just order a few. Uh, anyway, <laughs> um, I'm loving it, guys. These Leathermans, they really do, um, I think they represent the value that you're paying for them. Um, I, I can't believe the, the sidekick, this used to be 35 bucks. I think they're going for 60 bucks now, but still worth it as an entry level tool into Leatherman. Um, I used to be able to say what would be better, <laughs> what, what you should get between the wave and the charge, even though they're highly similar, they're totally different animals. They really are. And it's fun to have both of them and be able to explore the differences I think if you've got it in your budget and you only have like so much money and you can only get one tool, then the Charge Titanium, I think, offers some things that the Wave won't that you would miss out on. Um, and I think I did maybe another video on this, but if not, maybe I should spend more time. But um, the different safety cutter on this kind of sets it apart to me as well as the S30V Steel. And just having fucking titanium, a chunk of titanium is just cool, guys. Um, and then the signal is just kind of a different animal entirely. Now, uh, real quick, I know Leatherman's having new models come out with magnets. I'm interested to see what those look like, but I'm not really gunning after them just yet. I think what I've got right now takes care of all of my needs. I think it would be pretty hard to envision improving on some of these things and adding magnets is just problematic to me because of the carry system that I have specifically with flashlights in the same pocket as where I'm pocket clipping the Leatherman's too and the magnets will then attract more often them to connect than they already do but I'm open-minded to it I want to see what they look like um, adding to the outside and just having all tools accessible from the outside from what I've seen is kind of interesting, but I'm not sure it's so necessary. It's kind of relaxing to just open up your tool. <laughs> not that big of a deal. I'm not sure I need magnets to do that. All right, guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions about any of these models, please let me know. And I hope you all have a great Sunday ahead. Take care.